Hello and welcome to your June 2023 full moon reading. Now the full moon is happening on June the 4th at 4.42 a.m. UK time. And it is actually not a bad energy thing, if that makes sense. I mean, full moons by default are quite powerful anyway. But last month's uh, full moon was quite difficult as, uh, as an energy. Um, this month, luckily, is not so bad. Um, what happens is that it lies in the sign of Sagittarius. So we have to look at the energies and the imprint and the traits of Sagittarius and how that um, translates to you. And we have to also have a look at the, um, the aspects the full moon has to sort of deal with. But on a whole, this is a really, really positive empowering energy that the full moon brings because in Sagittarius, which is the sign of the archer, um, which is also what it means uh, translated into uh, Latin, Sagittarius, point is, as the energy of the archer and the full moon governs your emotions, for want of a better word, what is important is, that, is to remember that, you know, as the archer has to decide how much um, energy he gives to um, the, the the arrow and the bow, you know, how much emphasis does the archer put on the the arrow? How far does the arrow go? The point is, in translation, when it comes to your emotions in the month of June 2023, understand that you decide how much you take things on, if that makes sense, right? Uh, so yes, by default, if you are a bit moonstruck, you will be affected. We all are. But because of the sign, because of the full moon sitting in Sagittarius, whatever you feel, make sure to not overreact. Always remember, you decide how, how, how much you overreact, right? And to a certain extent, even though it doesn't quite work that way, uh, <laughs> to a certain extent, you can also decide in June how much pain you feel and how much pain you actually release because what the full moon in Sagittarius, Sagittarius um, enables you to do is to look at things slightly detached and with a few of um, let's take things easy here. So emotionally even if uh, should you be um, really really affected by situations, uh, um, and it could range from from uh, from regular grief to um, to love life, all that kind of stuff. Um, the issue here is that um, normally when um, emotions hit you, it just hits you, and uh, in Sagittarius you have the option to kind of go like, okay, I get it, I can feel me already being affected by something, right? Um, but because of the energy of, let's see where I'm going with this, um, energy will not hit you like a ton of bricks. So that is a really, really powerful thing when it comes to um, how to go about um, recovering from, from, from any blow that comes to you, especially when I get into strongly here, um, when it comes to grief, Grief comes in phases and it comes in, in, in sort of, you know, all of a sudden it's there. And even though in Sagittarius you could probably um, try not to release it, the full moon is literally the best time to let stuff go. So don't fight it, right? So this is my movement for bow and arrow, by the way, right? <laughs> so don't try to fight it, but understand that you can also, this month, throttle it back a little and you don't have to feel it. Now... Sagittarius, as a sign, is always opposite Gemini. It's just the way the cookie crumbles or the way the ecliptic works or the way the, the planets move, if that makes sense. But in this month, this month, this month's full moon, the moon is directly opposite, directly opposite Gemini, which means they're directly 180 degrees apart, which means the energy of Gemini when it comes to your emotional core, can be felt. Now, Sagittarius, as I already explained, is the, the energy that says, like, mm, let's see how much energy I give to things, right? And also, um, it, it, sometimes it's the energy that, that allows you to not 
release enough because you know once you get away of um once you find a way of um, hiding it living with stuff you might go that way in gemini which is the sign of the twin um the idea is always or the energy is always of gemini that sometimes that inner voice that tells you you know maybe i should finally release it all maybe i have to learn to let that go is sometimes not strong so when you then look at the entire package, if that makes sense, the full moon is about you uh, having, um, because it's illuminated, right? So you see everything, right? Take stock. Where am I in life? What do my emotions tell me? Really, really important. That is the essence of um, the energy of any full moon. Now, like I said, it's in Sagittarius, so you decide how deeply you actually look into things. But on a whole... The energy here is just for you to understand that maybe instead of looking at situations for what they are, you might, based on the energy that, that Gemini hasn't got a, a very strong inner voice oftentimes, and Sagittarius can be like, oh, I'm not going to do much here. Um, you might find, some of you at least, um, find yourself going backwards not releasing which is not what the full moon is about so should you be a person that by default sits longer with issues um, doesn't quite want to release them that is not helpful overall and the full moon is always here to encourage you to release really really important so that was short and sweet because like i said it's not a bad um energy this month so there's not that much to say there isn't as much that much going on either if that makes sense, that we really have to look at when, the, when it comes to how does this affect us, if that makes sense, right? And yet, because of Sagittarius being naturally opposite Gemini, right? The, the energy that we're therefore in is used to having less support from the, from the sign that is opposite, if that makes sense, right? Um, so... It's not that it is a foreign idea that sometimes you have a, a little less of an inner voice when you feel the energy of Gemini, depending on, you know, your moon sign as well. Uh, so uh, it becomes especially apparent for those of you um, who have uh, Sagittarius as a moon sign, because it means that when you are in your moon sign, you actually have a natural strength. Should your moon sign be Gemini? Um, then you feel the opposition to this month's full moon, obviously also much stronger. But on a whole, look at, look at it, look at things, right? Where am I in life? How am I truly feel? How do I, how do I truly, how, how do I truly feel? How am I actually feeling about stuff? How am I dealing with my, with my emotional pain, you know? Am I grieving? Uh, is it coming in phases? Um, am I hiding from 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 letting things go? All these kind of things. The the the, the new moon, sorry, the full moons are amazing to look at these questions and actually find answers to these questions uh, because of the strength of the full moon itself, right? So um, the advice therefore can only be to not shy away especially now that you have the option to do a little less, right? And maybe, you know, discourage yourself based on the opposition to Gemini, while Sagittarius and Gemini naturally are opposed, if that makes sense, right? Which doesn't affect them all that much, if that makes sense. But when the moon is in direct opposition with Gemini, 180, degree, 180 degrees apart, it will affect you, and it has to do with the fact that it's 180 degrees. Now you look at the numbers, 180, 180 is 9. 9 is the number of completion. And therefore, when you have an opposition, which is 180 degrees, the idea is to, even though things might be slower uh, for you to deal with, they still ought to be brought to uh, an end if that makes sense release as much as you can use the number the energy of the number nine one and eight is nine 180 degrees is still nine if that makes sense um so we're digressing here to numerology but we are beings of vibration uh, everything has a grid everything is numbers you know obviously the 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 universe itself is sort of numbers in motion if that makes sense so it makes sense to look at all these things right ultimately 
enjoy the, 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 the full moon and remember next month we will have a super moon and we will talk about this uh, next month um, so if you like my work please buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas or if you want to hold off on the coffee you can also d uh, donate this month because i'm doing 100 push-ups a day for diabetes uk i've been living with diabetes i'm a type 1 diabetic uh, for 31 years and i um, took on that challenge here uh, of doing 100 push-ups a day you know doesn't mean i will manage 100 push-ups a day but um obviously it is for diabetes uk um so it goes to a good cause literally a cause that that, that helps me stay alive so um uh, maybe you want to uh, you would like to uh, donate to that i have the link to that in the description box and i'm looking forward to hearing from you and seeing you all next month thank you so much bye bye for now